All right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Geometry. So I wanted to make a little video here just to um, give you something to do when you're not in school for the first couple days, but also kind of show you the things I'm going to show you in class and walk you through the different actual websites that we're going to be using and where to actually find all the stuff for what geometry actually is, okay? So bear with me. Um, it's not a super like ordered video, but we'll get through what we can, okay? So what you see here on this page is actually my, it's, it's my version of Spuds Landing, it's called the Extranet. So I'm, I'm mimicking this as if you're on Spuds Landing, okay? So everything that we do, for the most part, will be on PowerSchool Learning. Now, this might be a bit of a chore to find um, my actual class, because it's not active, because it's, it's Monday right now, but I'm just gonna get to our class. It should be right on the left side of your page. So mine's right here, but it'll be on the left side of your page under my classes, this Geometry 2020, 2021 page will be there okay I made it all adorable with little balloons and clouds and stuff okay so make sure that you find the correct page so once you're here this is where you need to go to find everything that there is for this class um, very challenging for me as I'm a very much like a paper, paper and pencil kind of guy but I will try to keep this updated as much as I possibly can as we go through this stuff okay so on here you have a welcome to geometry page you have a course information page and then of course you have a week one um, kind of a agenda page, if you will. So let's go through what each one of those contains, okay? So in the Welcome to Geometry, we have like the geometry course description. Uh, that's great. Some expectations of class will be linked here, but they're basically on the syllabus. So I'm gonna refer to the syllabus a lot here, okay? My contact information. So of course, my name is there, my phone number is there, my email is there, and this you're gonna to wanna to write this down somewhere in your notebook, because that is an email that you should be using a lot. If you ever have a homework question or any questions at all, you want to actually be there so that you can ask me questions, okay? I'm very responsive to emails. As far as the schedule goes, here's the hybrid calendar. They'll tell you which days are A and which days are B. Here's the school schedule, which is printed in my, in my classroom. So we have the times for first period, second period, and so on, okay? how to find your lunch, and then how to access your homework. So we'll get here in a second, um, but this is where all of your online homework will be. And so if you ever have a question, Mr. Larson, I don't know where my homework is, I can't get there, I can't figure out how to get to Big Ideas Math, right here is where you need to go, okay? This tells you how to get there. But we'll go through this after, after I show you the Power School Learning, like, you know, the whole setup. So on to course information, here we are. In here there's a syllabus. now. You're gonna see a lot of if COTOT student, if a, for COTOT students, for COTOT students. I have one class that is COTOT with a co-teacher. If you are in that class, great, the information is for you. If you are not in that class, oh well, you probably don't need to contact Ms. Bedore, but what you will get from her is some homework videos that are helpful. It's a very good resource, you're going to want to use them, okay? So on this course information page, there's our syllabus, we'll go over that in a second. Um, refer to that for any grading or other policies like that. Again, have my contact information, the right side stays the same. Okay, a couple of things about me are right here. You can read them if you want to. Most importantly, I have two dogs, they're wonderful. Okay, sometime I'll show you them on camera. So, uh, things that you need for the class. This is something that's very important here. Um, you need your Chromebook, okay? It's unlikely we will have much time in class to go through Chromebook stuff, but if we end up with free time and you want to work on your homework, your homework will be all online and you're going to want to use that online time to do the homework. So you might want to have your Chromebook with you. Uh, something you need to get accustomed to is that your Chromebook needs to be charged. The chargers are not long enough to charge everybody's Chromebook in class. And so make sure you charge them every night. Okay? You'll want some pencils or a writing utensil. Uh, again, math should not be done in, uh, in, in pen. Um, you will make mistakes and then it'll look all scribbly, but anything is, is great. I will require you to have a three-ring binder. I'm going to be giving you notes to take home and fill out um, out of these videos. Obviously, it won't look just informal, but you'll have a video with me talking. You want to take notes based on that. So have a three-ring binder. You know, if you, if you can't get one, let me know. I have a bunch of extras, but get a nicer one if you can that, that, that feels durable, right? The durability is going to be the important thing because we're going to have it for quite a while, okay? You're going to want like a three to five subject notebook. Get a one subject and get five of them. I don't care. Uh, some way to do your homework because not only will it be online homework that I might have you write down But more importantly in class. We're going to go through a lot of problems Okay, say I hate say that I say that I want to do number one from your homework last night Well, you want to be able to write that down in class so You can take it back to your computer and do that problem. Okay, 
So make sure you have a specific notebook that is titled homework. You know, in class, I'm going to say, hey, write Tuesday, September 10th, whatever it happens to be, September 8th, and we'll do the stuff from that day in that section of the notebook. So make sure you have a specific math homework notebook for me, okay? Calculators. I can't actually provide calculators for you. Um, the sanitation policies do not allow me to actually clean the calculator with anything but water, in which case I'd have to leave them out for 72 hours, and long story short, I can't give you them. So the Chromebook has one. It's kind of obnoxious. You're welcome to use it, but I would recommend, if you can afford to, get a scientific calculator, just, just a cheap one, um, and we'll use that throughout, throughout the year. Okay. Uh, if you really want to use your cell phone, talk to me about it. We'll see what we can do. Okay. Bring a positive attitude always. Okay, math is fun. A um, couple of things about grading. So homework in this class is going to be worth more than usual. So if you had friends who took geometry before, they don't listen to them. They don't know anything anymore because we've changed it this year. So your breakdown of grading will be 30% homework and 70% tests and quizzes. So homework is actually quite important this year. So make sure you're doing your homework each and every day uh, so that I can know how you're doing and we can get you caught up. Okay. The homework will be all be graded by Big Ideas Math. It'll just, you know, you do your homework online, it'll spit out the number that you got right out of out of whatever we give total, uh, and that'll be your grade for the homework, okay? Uh, I will accept no late homework. I will give you plenty of time to do it, though. So, for example, uh, on a usual day, if I assign you homework on Monday, it'll be due on Sunday at midnight, okay? So you have all the stuff by that Sunday, you'll have time to do it, okay? So if you have a specific situation, say that your dog got sick or something, just email me, I'll accept it then. But in general, no late homework, okay? Uh, quizzes, they'll be formative, which means that I'm using them to develop your knowledge. And so we will allow quiz retakes, okay? So this is a work in progress. Uh, likely this will change. But my thought right now is if you have under 70%, feel free to retake a quiz, okay? Um, if you really want to not retake the whole thing and you want to just work through some problems, I will likely allow you to do the ones that you got wrong for half credit. Okay. Uh, as far as tests, for the first quarter, we know we, we will have no tests. We'll be in this hybrid model, a little bit awkward. I can't imagine tests being that effective since it will take up so much of our in-class time, and that would be a waste. So no tests for the first quarter. Okay. If you have any questions on this portion, let me know. Again, I'm going over this in class two. Just want to give you a, a little heads up here. Uh, going down further, um, out of this you can read it. Obviously, you know the basic expectations but nothing crazy different here than normal um yeah obviously I, i'm not a big i don't have a big problem with food but we're all gonna have masks on and so it's gonna be quite challenging to eat in class so probably not worth bringing it because you can't have your head mask off anyway all right on to the week one so this is where you'll go every week and so it you know say it's september 9th you go to the proper week that it's on right now you can only see week one eventually there'll be all the weeks right and so you, this, is what, this is where everything that you have to do as a student will be located, okay? So you will likely never go here anymore, but you'll go here every week. So, say it's Tuesday. I have written down exactly what you need to do as an A student and as a B student. So if you're a B student, you come in. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it red and blue. You go to the blue section, and it says, watch the Welcome to Class video. That's what this is. You're watching the video. Good work, okay? If you're an A student, you're in class with me and you're solving equations, okay? Those two things are happening. So uh, this is where it's gonna tell you what we're doing. More importantly, uh, there's gonna be this week one schedule. So if you hate this kind of breakdown day by day, I do too, that's fine. Click on this week one schedule, okay? That's gonna take you to our weekly schedule and this nifty little table here. Uh, if I were you and I had access to a printer, I would print this every week and put it in your notebook if you wanted to, okay? Here it will have all the stuff that you need to watch all right and so the welcome to class video is right here the the uh unit one video 0 0.1 video is right here if you click on this it takes you to a youtube link okay we'll talk about youtube in a second but all of my videos will be uploaded to youtube and you can watch them wherever you are so obviously you're watching this one so good job finding it but uh this will i'll make one of these every week that'll tell you what to do for A and B students each and every day. So I would look here all the time. Um, it will likely not change too much. Like it's your A and B is gonna be the exact same depending, it's just, it's just when it happens. It's a, little, it's a little bit tricky, okay? So hopefully there are no questions on this. 
Uh, I think that finishes up power school learning for the most part. Uh, here's a good example of why it's great having a co-teacher. So Ms. Bedore made her first homework help video. And so what she does is I assign homework, we talk about it, and then she goes and does some of the homework and kind of helps you out with it. So if you if you started the 0.1 homework worksheet that we gave you in class, uh, or if you haven't received the homework, that worksheet yet, you could find it right here. This will take you to the worksheet, um, which loaded as a PDF. I open it. Here's the worksheet, right? So here's the homework that she's going to be working on. Um, so if you go to watch this, it'll actually take you to a video of where she's watching that. She's w looking at that worksheet. She's working on it. Um, sometimes she does does it flawlessly. Sometimes she asks some questions, and it's really good. They're very good videos. So if you're having any trouble at all, there's your remedial source. You can get some help. Um, she's a great resource. I would recommend watching those at any time. Okay, so that's all that's new. Again, the right side is all the same from the previous page, so nothing changed there. And that's going to be our Power School learning page, and so I'm going to update that every day. Um, all kinds of stuff will be on there. I will try to put access to everything that we do on there. If something is missing and you know it, let me know. Okay, I'll put it on there. Um, there, I do need to still link the notes, um, just so in case you don't have them at home, you can print them off. But other than that, everything is on there. Okay. The last thing I want to show you on this video, except for the syllabus, is how to get to your homework. Okay, so let me get to your homework. That, that's an important section. So again, we're going to go to your spuds landing section. Okay, that's going to be the, the way that we're going to do it. There's other ways. This is like the long way. So you're going to go to links. Now your links are going to look a little bit different than mine. A little bit different, but somewhere on this page of links, you have like a math section that says big ideas math. Okay, mine's right here. Um, yours might be elsewhere. I'm not exactly sure. I think it says math and then Big Ideas Math, but right here, go to Big Ideas Math. Or just get into Clever somehow. See how these all say Clever? I'm going to click on Big Ideas Math, and it's going to take me to a page where I need to log in. That's great. Okay? Choose a proper account. Choose my school account. Awesome. Always choose your school account, right? Because this is all linked to your school account. Uh, I don't care about that. Remind me later. So. This is where everybody gets confused, right? This is a page that looks great, and this is your teacher. I'm, you know, Caleb Larson, that's your teacher. I'm gonna click on his page. Don't do that, there's nothing on it. We don't, we don't use that. So, you need to get to this page, and then go find Big Ideas Math. It's in my favorites, it's likely not in your favorites yet. So, it's right here, okay? You could choose it as your favorite at this point, so you don't have to look, any, look that hard again. So click on the Big Ideas Math section, and once you're into there, you actually have all of your assignments. Now. Since this is before school started, I'm making this video. I don't actually have any populated classes. This is just general geometry, okay? But when you get there, this resource page, when you have a geometry textbook, is actually the textbook. It doesn't look like it. But what you can do is you can go in, go to chapter one, go to section one. Now, we're not there yet. We're on chapter zero still, right? And you go to the student edition. You won't have teaching edition. And if you push search resources, it'll actually take you to a site that has the textbook. This is the online textbook. So uh, all of your homework questions will be in the textbook, just at the end. And you can use this online version to do it if you want to. The chances that you actually use that, I think are pretty low. But it's there, and it's awesome. Most of the time, you're going to be going to assignments. So right here, assignments, that's, it says there are no assignments. You will have all kinds of assignments in this upcoming thing. So what's going to happen is I'm going to create an assignment. I can't do it yet because I don't have any classes. But I'm going to create assignments for you. They'll be they will have a due date on them. You will come here, you will enter them, and then you will complete the assignment. It'll be very self-explanatory, usually multiple choice or some drag and drop stuff. Um, you know, it'll it'll have some growing pains, but we'll get through it. It'll be just fine. Very easy thing. The only thing at the end of an assignment, and I can't really show you this because there's no assignment here. But when you finish your assignment, it does not automatically turn it in, right? If you're doing your homework at home like normal, you have to still come and turn it in. So when you're done, you will click on your name, and under your name, it'll have an option right here that says submit. You need to do that when you're done, or else I never see that you did your homework, ever, okay? That's the only tricky part about Big Ideas Math. You need to actually submit your homework. We will go through that when we actually get homework like this. Again, the first week, it's all in paper. But when we actually get homework this way, uh, we will go through this and I will make sure that all of you submit your first assignment so you know, you know how to do it, okay? And that's where your homework will generally be. And that's awesome. So again, one more thing. We're going to go through the syllabus, but at this point you've seen most, most of everything. It will be quite quick. Uh, I want to go back to our Power School Learning page. 
I want to go to course information. That's where I place the syllabus. It is right here. I will click on it. Okay. On the syllabus, all the stuff that is already on the PowerSchool Learning page is actually just on this document. And so uh, you can print this, you can just come access it on PowerSchool Learning, whatever you want to do. But here I have my email, the course description again, the expectations one more time, consequences, all the stuff you've already read. Okay. So feel free to go ahead and look through all this again. It's all a repeat of what I've already read to you. So I'm not going to read it off to you again. Uh, I'm just going to let you look at it. Okay. So here is the actual quiz retake policy. Here they are right here. Come come read this one. I will put this on the UnPowerSchool Learning page. I didn't know it wasn't updated. But other than that, everything is the exact same. Okay? So nothing crazy here except for this one right here. This is new. So as far as extra help goes if you get behind, um, my preps are first hour and seventh hour, which isn't super helpful, right? Because first hour is pretty early. You probably don't have questions yet. Um, and if you have class seventh hour, that's not very helpful. But our school, our school does end early, right? Look right here. School ends at 2.25 for you guys. You get, you're done at 2.25. So what you should be doing is if you have questions, either come find me after school, but likely you have to leave. And so if we end up having a lot of questions, I will hold a Zoom meeting, or Google Meet, excuse me, not Zoom, at 2.30, and I can help you virtually through my computer do all the homework that you need to do, okay? So that's how we're gonna kinda do these little office hour things. You have to tell me ahead of time or I'll find something else to busy myself, but that'll be a good time to get help, okay? Um, outside of that, just email me, keep up with me. Uh, thank you for sitting through this entire long video, but good job. Uh, hopefully we will get started faster than, uh, than this in the future, but have a good rest of your day.